Hi folks, now that the COMEX Summer 2015 round is over, I can take you back into our Getter Tools area and I can show you some of the things that we as administrators can see and can do that you as a regular player might not know about. For example, when we set up our Getter Tools group, we had a section for S crew members and for spam members, but in Getter Tools, we linked those two alliances together so that as an administrator, I can see both the S crew information as well as the spam information in one place. You can see I have a lot more menu options than you would have as a regular player. Some of the uh, additional things that I have that I'd like to show you today is the area about member details. I'd also like to show you about the plan section, about searching defense, and also talk to you for just a brief time about the battle reports. So in administration, there are some different things that I can do. I can, for example, set up certain players as administrators who have full rights or as strategists or leaders. Leaders can see other uh, players' troop counts. Strategists can also create plans and share those plans. So that's been really useful. You don't want to have everyone with those kind of rights, but there are leaders that should have those that kind of access to the information to be able to use Getter Tools to its fullest. Searching defense is one of the interesting things that you can do, especially if folks have been updating their troops. So for example, just using one of my own villages, I can pick one of my villages from the quick list. Let's say uh, Brachiosaurus here. And I am looking for uh, defense. Perhaps I have an attack coming in. I can put the date and time of the attack in here and then say uh, a minimum defense and a thousand sounds good at that we we're at the end of the game people had lots of defense still and I can search the defense it'll go through and find out who is close enough to me to be able to send defense in time to meet that attack it gives me the player names as well as the village it would need, the player would need to send from. It tells me who their sitters are, so if they're not online, I can go to a sitter and ask them to send some defense. And it will even give me the option of opening that person up in the Travian account and send them a message and say, hey, I need to have X number of defense to arrive at this village at a particular time. In this way, we were able to do some defense calls without having to use an MM, keep it very quiet. So if there was anyone spying on our MMs, they wouldn't know that we were responding to that attack. They may even think that we're not online and we've missed it. So the search defense uh, area is an excellent tool within Getter for leaders to be able to use. The other thing that we have done is to create specific plans. We can create a plan, a battle plan, pretty quickly where we identify whether we want to do an attack or whether we want to do a chiefing. We can set a day and time for landing and even specify if we want a specific player to attack or to fake. We can add an enemy player here and that will give us access to all of their villages and it will tell us who can reach that player within the specified time and we can create a plan for each one of these players that are close and say, all right, we want you to attack this village and fake that village. It will create a plan. We can then 
send that plan to individual players. They can log into Getter Tools and see exactly what we need them to do. When they're done sending the troop, they can even indicate that it's been taken care of. This is an awesome tool for planning a number of targeted offenses on our enemies. And it does require that players update their troops on a regular basis and update their tournament square level so we know how fast your troops can travel. Another aspect of Getter Tools that we use as administrators is this troop area where we can set different uh, uh, characteristics here and be able to identify the number of troops that we have available within the Alliance, both those that are offensive troops and those that are defensive troops. Finally, we often ask you, did you log that battle report into Getter Tools? This is section here are all of the reports that we logged throughout the server. And the advantage is because Getter Tools will archive the different servers, these battle reports won't go away, which means we will have access to a number of different battle reports which show us attacks by NADARs on our World Wonder. We have some, I might have to scroll down a little bit here, we have some reports that will tell us um, the attack strength of the NADARs, or I'm sorry, the defense strength of the NADARs in the building plans in the World Wonder Village. We also here, I've scouted the World Wonder Village, so we'll know next round approximately how many NADAR defense we will be facing when we want to take a village. There are also reports where we scouted the artifacts in terms of the uh, small artifact and the large artifact, so we'll know uh, what kind of defense we may be facing there. It will vary server to server based on the number of players that are there and the size of the hammers, but it gives us a good baseline. We can also take a look at some of the past battle reports that were there in terms of the really big hits or the hammers that we killed, and that, that can be kind of fun as well. If you are using Getters with a Alliance as a regular member, you may be thinking, why do the administrators need to know? Why do our leaders need to know my troop counts? I wanted to give you an idea of some of the other things that can be done with this that can make your leaders better at responding to a variety of threats, both from a, a getting defense into the right place or planning good offense. There's a lot of things that can go on behind the scenes that you may not know about. Uh, I hope you enjoyed having a look at what administrators see in Getter Tool.